I'm John Gould, and I've been a trader on the market for 40 years. Started when I was 20, and I've obviously seen lots of changes in Woolwich over the years. Uh, at this particular time, it's very much on a downward trend, and retail business is awful. Uh, we very much miss, over the years, the decline in the trade from the, from the arsenal, which is in the background. We really do need some more trade to be generated into Woolwich. And we would very much like there to be a some retail outlets across the other side of the gate so that we could link up across from the market to give it more depth and more interest for people and worthwhile coming to Woolwich for. If you don't recall the song at all, I'll sing it over for you. Say, what has become of Hinky Pinky? I'm Roy Masters. I'm 76 and now retired. My father was the superintendent of the Royal Gun and Carriage Factories, and so, as a boy, I lived in this Royal Arsenal village. 80,000 people used to work in here, more than twice the number employed by Ford Motors UK. There were more than a thousand buildings on this site, all busy in the production of weapons for war. They produced everything for the Army, Navy and Air Force. The MOD will be leaving this site in the next two to three years, we believe, and then this site will become Woolwich, entirely part of Woolwich again. I'm Sir Andrew Derbyshire, and I'm president of RMJF. I've been working with our planning team for the last four years to look at ways in which the Woolwich Arsenal site can be redeveloped for peaceful purposes. Our clients have been the Ministry of Defence and Crown Estate, and it's been their wish that we should demonstrate the kind of aspirations they have for regenerating this part of Woolwich for the benefit of the town as a whole. It's a magnificent site with an enormous river frontage. Uh, Upriver, you can see Canary Wharf, the Thames Barrier, and the Isle of Dogs redevelopment. To the east, the Thames Reach going out to the estuary is a site that's been designated by the government for economic growth going into the year 2000 and beyond. Now, the other advantage of the site is that it contains some very distinguished listed buildings of historic significance. They're not in very good repair. They'll need a great deal of attention paid to them to bring them back into new uses. But they are potentially a very great asset. The site has also been used for industrial purposes over 400 years, and naturally, it's got some pockets that need to be cleaned up. The other great opportunity is to link it back to the, to the town centre of Woolwich, across Plumstead Road. And there are various ways in which this can be done to the benefit of the local community to bring new life, new jobs, and, and a new vision of Woolwich into the picture. This is where City Challenge can help us all with relatively small investment to produce a, a, a development whose value will exceed by many times the original pump priming money. My name's Owen Kelly, and I work for a cultural planning consultancy called Comedia. We recently undertook a study for Greenwich to assess what steps could be taken to revitalize the evening economy in Woolwich. This square is right in the center of town. It has many outstanding buildings and it's only a stone's throw from the arsenal. Yet it's almost completely deserted every evening. Very few people come here and those that do feel unsafe. Steps are already being taken to address this. The British Rail Station is in the middle of a major refurbishment. It is hoped that the newly designated Greenwich University could provide a major boost to the town centre. The tram shed has been renovated and will shortly open for very much extended hours. People here are down, but they're not out. There's still a great spirit in Woolwich. If the town centre and the arsenal can be reconnected, then people will believe once again that Woolwich has a future. My name is Bob Ribbins. I'm the Woolwich town centre manager. I'm standing here in Power Street where I used to be the manager of W.H. Smith for nine years, but I've asked to be seconded to the London Borough of Greenwich to work on the City Challenge project. There was a time when I didn't really like the council, but things have changed now, and things are very much better. We're working together as a good team to revitalise Woolwich. 
Look at around Woolwich, you can see people have got their heads down. There's many empty shops, businesses are declining, and morale is low. So we're going to work together to revitalise Woolwich, and the first thing we're going to do is run Woolwich Week again. City Challenge uh, offers Woolwich and all of us the chance to get into the arsenal again. Many of us have worked here for many years and have been unable to get in. If we can unlock that potential that's in the arsenal, we can then link that with the potential we've got in the people, in business and in the council in Woolwich. We've got a great team, we've got a great bid. My name is Subhash Thakkar. I run a fairly substantial chartered accountant's practice in Woolwich. I have been in Woolwich since 1974. There are major prospects here in Woolwich and Greenwich. Putting aside the weaknesses of the council in the past, with the waterfront strategy, this is a major breakthrough. The council wanting new businesses and more businesses with sustainable employment will go towards relieving the stresses of the people in the borough. I, for one, want to see this happen and make it happen. My name is Jan. I'm an actor teacher here at Greenwich Young People's Theatre. I've been working in Woolwich for four years now. And the first thing that really struck me about Woolwich was how dreadful it was to get here. The public transport was really quite bad. You feel it's very isolated here in Woolwich. Um, and if I finish work, say after 8 o'clock at night, which I often do, I don't, I don't walk home through the foot tunnel to get to the train um, because the centre of Woolwich is just not very well lit, you feel vulnerable, you feel unsafe. Um, so I have to catch cabs home and I spend an awful lot of money on cab fares. My name's Dave Spearman. I'm a Metropolitan Police Crime Prevention Officer. The police and the council have been working in partnership in an effort to reduce the high levels of crime in the Woolwich and Plumstead area. As can be seen here on the Woolwich Common Estate, lots of improvements have been made to the lighting and the design of the housing which has reduced crime to virtually nil in certain blocks. There's still a lot to be done, both in Woolwich and Plumstead, and with this we hope City Challenge will help us to make great inroads to reduce the levels of crime, improve the quality of life, and make Woolwich and Plumstead a better place for people to live and work in. I'm Margaret Moran and I'm Director of Housing for Women Housing Association. Here in Plumstead we're developing 22 new homes for single women and single parent families, a need which we know is very great throughout this area and which we and Greenwich aim to meet by developing new, more new homes of this sort. On this site, there, there is a real example of how working in partnership with the council, the private sector and housing associations, we can develop new homes very fast. In the City Challenge area, there is an even greater opportunity to provide 700 new homes I'm Charles Brocklehurst, Managing Director of Inner City Enterprises. This is the middle of White Hart Triangle, a landlocked 40-acre site which forms a key part of Greenwich's City Challenge bid. We undertook our first direct development project in partnership with Greenwich Council in 1985, and I'm pleased that City Challenge has brought us together to work again. Along with our sister company, London Industrial, we're committed to unlocking this site's development potential, bringing a substantial investment boost to Plumstead and creating job opportunities for local people. The degree of our commitment must be reflected in the fact that I'm standing here today on a typical British spring morning. I'm John Stevens, and I'm the minister here of Trinity Methodist Church. It's a part of the City Challenge area. I came here 18 months ago from the suburbs of Reading. Before that, I'd been in Bournemouth, and I found it so difficult to understand some of the problems I found here. Poverty, unemployment. I found people who were lacking a sense of identity. I'd always thought of Greenwich, you see, as the place of the Cutty Sark. It was the place of the Royal Observatory. It was the Naval Academy. It were all things like that. And then suddenly, I found a forgotten people in Woolwich. Forgotten people who somehow felt they, they didn't really matter. They wanted to belong. And the church is trying to do that. And in City Challenge, here in Greenwich, we're really trying to give them a lift. This is what we're trying to do. Make them feel they're important, because they really are.